topic for today. So in the previous lesson, in the previous lesson 12, we are looking at water and sanitation, looked at sanitation and also uh, looked at the latrine uh, from where, from which we discussed the latrine and we said is the place for uh, defecation and also urination. And we said it's also a place where the human excreta can be uh, deposited, a place where human excreta uh, can also be uh, deposited. Then, uh, we discussed the latrines and we said we have three. Well, there is, uh, we looked at the potties, then the pitch latrines, then also what we called the toilets. So, uh, in this lesson, we are going to look at uh, the toilets. So, what is a toilet? So, a toilet, uh, a toilet is a latrine because we said latrine, a place where we go to urinate or defecate. So, a toilet is a latrine that uses water uh, to flush uh, the human wastes so that uses water uh, to flush out or to flush off or to flush away the human wastes the human what the human excreta or the human uh, waste that is uh, a toilet uh-huh now let us go and see uh, the parts of a toilet as you are seeing there so i think at your home you have them or you've ever seen them somewhere now this is what we call a toilet then it has this part here and this part is called a seat so a seat is where a user sits so a user uh, sits uh, on a seat when using a toilet now this thing where you are depositing the feces all of this thing here uh, this is what we call the bowel so in simple terms you can draw uh, we can take a, a simple diagram of our a toilet i can draw mine here then i can start a uh, mine with this then what is this one uh, this is what we call the question uh question it is called a question or a water what a water tank so this one is a reservoir it is there uh, to reserve or to keep water we are going to use to do what to flush after using the what the toilet then on this water tank uh, it has uh, something like this now this one is what we call the handle so some handles are being pushed others are being pulled so you just pull when you pull you are creating pressure inside the water tank then the water is going to flow out uh, to come and uh, flush uh, the feces off then here uh, we are going now to have something like this now this something I've drawn here is what we call the bowel so the bowel is where the human excreta is deposited and now this one uh, is what we call a seat where a user sits then uh, on top of this bowel we are having this part and this part here is called the lid or the cover so that this cover is to cover the seat after the user as you has finished it uh, to make use of our a latrine i mean sorry, sorry our a toilet and then from there we are going to have what we call a septic a septic pipes then uh we can get them just like this uh-huh then where is this one now connecting this one is connecting to what we call a septic tank so uh, this septic tank uh, it is where the human wastes are, are deposited or are stored for a short period of time until when when it comes full uh, when it becomes full sorry uh, when it becomes full it's going to be emptied and now that vehicle that empties this is called a cesspool emptier so it is a cesspool emptier so uh -huh. now these ones are called the septic pipes these pipes they lead the feces and urine to the a septic tank then these are the parts of a to a toilet then this toilet it's made with um, a discovered uh this curved uh junction here to prevent and this one keeps water within it that's why when you are always when you go to use this toilet and there is water inside there so when you are throwing in your feces then uh, some water can uh, spark back uh, um now Meaning that this water within this pipe, it is preventing the bad smell from the septic tank from saturating whenever you open um, uh, this lid of the what? The seat. So this is a toilet. So uh, if we compare what we have drawn with this one, uh, we, can, we are going to find out that uh, this part here is what we call the crystal or the water tank. Its work is to do what? 
uh, to keep water then uh, because this one is opened there for this is our lead then behind the lead there there we are going to be with our hand whereby we say the handle is pushed or pulled in order to release water to flush the feces and we say this lead it is uh, it is the one or the cover we use to cover up the what the bowel so this one is the bowel where the excreta is deposited now these ones are what we call the septic uh, septic pipes are uh, leading feces to the septic tank somewhere there all right so uh, this is the structure of a toilet okay so let us move on and see uh, more information about our toilets here okay now these toilets let us look at um, the advantages of using uh, these toilets here one um uh, these toilets here as you are seeing them oh sorry let me first get uh, my color here okay uh-huh now let us look at the advantages the good things of using these uh, toilets at home one they can easily be f uh, instilled uh-huh so they can easily be installed in uh, inside a house so they can easily be be put inside a house mm -hmm. not only a house um a plane not only a plane but also a train even inside a hotel so we can put them there uh-huh that is one advantage advantage number two ah uh, sorry so advantage number two are these toilets are user friendly mm -hmm. They are user friendly. Children can use them without fear. So they are user friendly, meaning that children can use them freely. Like they can't fear uh, to sit on them, uh, unlike these pit latrines. So it has a big hole. Then a baby is like, hey, if I uh, 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 I squat on through this, then I will end up falling inside here. So, but these ones are uh, comes opens then. A diff case flashes go uh, goes away so they are user friendly so children can use them um uh, freely and again these toilets can easily be cleaned so they are easy to clean so these toilets are easy to clean you just use a scrubber a squeezer the disinfectant like a jig like vim like jays like that so you can clean them uh, freely uh, I mean easily but again however much they have the advantages they also have bad things here so let us get to see the disadvantages of these toilets one they are expensive that's why at your home you don't have them they are expensive if you have them you ask your father or anyone who put them there how much they cost him so they are very very expensive then they require a lot of water mm? now when you use like some people have hard feces so they have to flush then they take a lot of water so they require a lot of water then this one is going to increase the water bills mm -hmm. then number three uh, these toilets you are seeing here they are only used in areas with pipe to water so only used in areas with piped water only areas with piped water a uh, piped water the number four are these toilets you are seeing here uh-huh so these toilets you are seeing uh they are they they only use soft tissues mm. so they only use uh soft tissues uh, because if you use hard material like leaves you know some people they still use leaves like others use small stones hey after doing it then you use that small stone to clean that small part there so when you use all these leaves others use sponges others use hunks so these ones these hard materials they are going to cause the blockage of the septic pipes as you've seen uh, uh, there uh, earlier okay so those are the disadvantages but again they have problems the challenges then you can say for me, for me i have my money i'm, I'm going to make it i'm go, uh, we have piped water we have this we have tissues but again there are some problems you are going to meet uh-huh then lack of water the moment uh water disappears or goes ha 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 
lack of water you won't like it mm, i think good choice students you understand that now when the, the moment water disappears mm, you will not eh, anyway okay so uh lack of water is also a problem associated to them and then uh, they often get blocked yeah they often get uh, blocked if hard papers or if hard tissues are used so the moment we use hard tissues uh, hard tissues they are going to block these um uh, pipes that are leading feces to the uh, to the um, uh, to the septic tank and also the sewers uh, the sewers those big pipes eh? those big pipes i think you you, you normally see them uh, 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 at the roadside mm? that big 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 but that big big pipe is called a sewer so sewers carrying sewage a uh, sewers carrying sewage can uh, can can break so now once they break what is going to happen then the sewage is going to spill around when it spills around then it's going to result into a bad smell and the spread of diseases imagine now you are passing by that big sewer then to bah! Mm, then then on to you anyway it's just okay so uh, those are the disadvantages of using uh, those toilets and actually once we don't call them toilets we can call them a uh, waterborne toilets or they can call them the flush toilets or water closets you know some of you know that a closet means uh, the wardrobe no where you keep clothes no so it can be a water closet can be a, a flush toilet it can be a waterborne latrine so uh, those are the toilets and now uh, let us go and start uh, to do our activity for today number one <coughs> identify number one says identify one problem associated associated with using toilets number two define a latrine hmm define a latrine number three uh how advantageous how advantageous is the use of toilets at home Number four, uh, state one advantage, sorry, one disadvantage of using toilets. Draw and label all the parts of a toilet how far should a pit latrine be constructed from a water body number seven which structure which structure on a vip latrine traps and cause house flies number eight how best should we maintain our flash toilets why are toilets not commonly found commonly found in rural areas number 10 mention the three types of latrines okay let us go to num number to number 10 mm -hmm. of latrines how useful is a lid on a toilet 
number 11 why are VIP la trains left why are VIP la trains not having a lead number 12 right VIP in full also right echo sign in full define citation define the term citation write down any two elements of sanitation why are community members community members adjud to maintain sanitation mm. what name is given to a vehicle that empties the septic tanks of toilets of our toilets number 19 a state one advantage of a VIP latrine over an ordinary pit latrine so you've been a good learner from where we started up to now and then I'm waiting for this work for marking